Hi guys. Okay, um, I wanted to come on and make a quick video. Today has been a bit of, a, bit of a hectic day. I'm losing the plot right now. It's um, it's ten o'clock at night. I have no idea where my husband is. He's supposed to be home from work and he's not. So, um, <clears throat> today my Sense MS nurse came round to show me how to use the Revis Smart device from which I will be getting my um, Revis treatment. You know what, I can't actually hold my camera up there. Which is a shame because it was kind of a good angle. Anyway, so she came around today and the whole thing took like four hours because there was a complete cock up about we thought that they'd sent the wrong medicine, or rather the wrong dosage of the medicine, because normally you would start out on 8 micrograms, and I'd been sent 22, which is usually the maintenance dose. So we had to kind of ring Booper Home Health and complain at them and accuse them of sending the wrong thing, and then, they, and then arrange a new delivery of the, the correct, or what we thought was the correct dosage of 8 micrograms, and then I had to find another nurse to come out and sort me out and do my training um, because also the nurse that came today is not going to be my regular sense nurse because my regular sense nurse has had like a personal emergency so it's taking time off and it's all a bit dramatic if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, <clears throat> so it's complete rigmarole this morning, ringing around, getting stuff done, getting new appointments booked and, and whatnot. And then then we had a call back from Booper to say my neurologist had actually sent through notification to them that, that she wanted me to start on a higher dose than usual because with um, the medicine is called beta interferon and it's quite a regular thing. I think interferon's being used to treat loads of stuff. Like Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, MS, um, I think probably with any sort of chronic pain things at the minute, really. So anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty common. So I've completely forgotten what I was saying. Oh God, this is why I need flashcards. Um, basically, basically. So we thought everything was wrong, but my neurologist had actually requested that I start on a higher starting dose. Usually you'd start off on 8 micrograms and the side effects are, are pretty ropey and just the, the whole concept of injecting yourself is something, you know, to get used to. Um, so they usually start you off on a lower dose for like two weeks and then they move you up to 22 milligrams, which is usually your maintenance dose, i.e. you sort of stay on 22 mi uh, sorry, micrograms, not milligrams. Um, so, of course, I had been sent 22 micrograms, so the nurse was like, I can't start your treatment today, I can't teach you how to do this because they've sent you the wrong stuff. So anyway, it turns out they hadn't sent us the wrong stuff. For reasons still yet unknown, my neurologist has decided to start me off on the higher dose, and I'm not sure whether that's because um, there's kind of been delays on me starting my treatment or what, really, I don't know. Um, but the point is... I've started on 22 micrograms. So the device, I, next time I'm doing an injection I will probably, um, maybe I'll try and make a video and show you the device and stuff because I just don't have the energy to get it all out now and show you. But if you follow my blog, which is heidelscorner.blogspot.com, um, I have put a little picture up of the, the device. It's kind of, you know, maybe a bit bigger than my phone, it's pretty heavy. Um, <clears throat> but it's all singing, all dancing, it's got an LCD screen and it is pretty straightforward. So actually it was a lot less stressful than I was anticipating and the injection itself was less grim as I was anticipating. Of course it's still not nice to inject yourself and you know I kind of got grossed out by the fact I could feel the medicine going in and it stings like hell but on the, the grand scale of things I can see that I'll be, be able to become accustomed to it quite quite easily, probably. Um, unfortunately, though, there are side effects 
and my side effects. I don't know if I'm getting worse side effects because I'm on a higher dose um, than people would normally start on. But I seem to have been knocked for six this afternoon. When I take a dose, I should take um, a course of either paracetamol or ibuprofen. So like at the same time as I took the injection, I took an ibuprofen. And then I've been kind of trying to be really northern, really British and be hard and, and work it out. And now it is 10 o'clock at night and oh god, <laughs> I'm feeling it now. And I've just had to take some more ibuprofen and I'm feeling pretty sorry for myself. Um, I, have, I have a raging headache. It basically does feel like I have flu. Um, I feel like I've been hit by a bus pretty badly. <laughs> All my joints are aching, my head really hurts and my arm really hurts. I did the injection in my left arm and it just it hurts a lot. In the usual way that when you've had an injection in your arm, your arm hurts. Um, I just kind of hope that my body gets accustomed to having the injections pretty soon so I don't have to this throw it forward to every other day. Because although I've started treatment on a Tuesday, and so today is Tuesday, so my next dose will be Thursday and then I'll take it on Saturday. Then starting next week from the 9th, I'll go until a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, the thinking behind that being in that I actually work from home on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the minute. So even if I do feel really, really poorly, I don't have to get up at the absolute break of dawn um, to travel into the office because it's quite far. And I think I'll feel worse, at least, you know, at least if I'm working from home, I'm kind of in my comfort zone a little bit more and I can take painkillers and generally go around scowling without upsetting too many people because <laughs> that would be me and the cat. So, so yeah, really. Um. <clears throat> so today's been interesting. It has. Um, you know, the device itself, like I say, it's pretty straightforward. It's very all singing, all dancing, and it keeps a record of um, my injection history, my dosage, what time I took it, and I'm going to start keeping like a diary for, you know, my symptoms, how I'm feeling, what my, any side effects. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm also going to stop throwing things. Mm. People, people of the internet. Today is not a good day for Claire Pair. So, do you know what? I think that is a sign from the gods that maybe I'm just going to give up on making this video. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to take myself to bed. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So, I'm going to find out where my husband is first, and then I'm going to take myself off to bed. I promise to be more upbeat and less of a spazzed hard tomorrow. I promise. Thanks for if you're still watching this. Thank thanks for thanks for that. And I'm really sorry. I just totally threw it through my phone on on the floor there. Um. Okay. Go in now. Bye. <laughs>